In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Google form to add to your online course. So why would you want to add a Google form to your online course? Well, you can use it for quizzes, surveys, polls, monitoring your learner's progress, an interactive activity, and to gather data as well about your learners. So you will need a Google account to access Google Drive. If you use Google Calendar or Gmail or any of the Google apps, you will have a Google account. So all you need to do is navigate to your search engine and type in Google Drive. And it should be the first one that comes up here and you can access it this way. Now the other way to access it if you're using Chrome is to go over here to the Google Apps icon, click on that and go down to Drive. So here we are in my Google Drive, and I'm actually just in a test folder here. To access Google Forms, you go over to New, drop down to More, and you've got your Google Forms. Now, if you roll over this little arrow here, you can either start with a blank form or you can start with a template. So let's click on Templates to see what's available. So as you can see, there's a number of different templates that you can start with, and there's an entire section for education here. So that includes an assessment, a worksheet, exit ticket, and a course evaluations. So if you want to start with one of these, you just click on it and you can start with a template. If you prefer to start your own from scratch, click on New, go down to Google Forms, and click on that. All right, so if we're building a survey or an assessment or something like that, this is, the, this is where you're going to work from. If you're building a quiz, it is a little bit different. You can click on the Settings button here. Go over to quizzes, click on make this a quiz, and then you have some quiz options. So you can release the mark for that particular question right after each submission, or you can choose to manually review it. And that's going to collect the email so that you can actually mark it and send it back. And then whether you want the respondent to see missed questions, correct answers, and point values. All right, so you want to title your form. And you can put a form description in here if you would like. You're also going to want to uh, click on this so it names it the same. If you want to name that differently for your Google Drive, then this is the Google Drive title up here. And this is what uh, your learners will actually see on this form. So it's asking for the email address. And it says this form is collecting email addresses. If I don't want it to collect email addresses, I can just click on Change Settings takes me back here and I don't want to collect email addresses and I click save. So now it's going to ask me what the first question that I want to ask is. So I'm just going to fill in a question here. Okay, so I've got my question in here and it's going to uh, give me suggestions for answers. So I can say uh, that I want to add all and that's going to give the answers of yes, no, or maybe. Now in this case I don't want maybe, so I am just going to X that out right there. So the answers are yes or no. And whether I want this to be required question, meaning they can't go on to the next question without, or they can't submit the form without this being completed, so I do want to make that a required question. Now I can either duplicate this question now or I can add a different question. So here's your options for adding. You can add a question. You can add another title and description for a separate part of your form. You can add an image. You can add a video. And then you can also add another section. So in this case, I'm going to add another question. And instead of multiple choice, I am going to ask for a paragraph answer. OK, and then the student is going to be able to fill in their answer here. And I do want that to be required. Now let's do one more here, and so we're just going to insert a video here. You can paste the YouTube URL here, or you can do a search for it here. So it's going to bring up all the videos with uh, the word Thinkific in it. So I'm just going to click on this one. It's not mine. That's Dotto's, but we're going to use that anyways. Okay, I'm going to say, please watch this video. Now if I want to caption the video, I can do that up here and show a caption for the video. In this case, I don't want to. I can also align left, right, center. I can uh, change out the video here if I want to. So I want the students in this case to watch this video. 
and then potentially I want them to answer a question about this video. So now I'm going to add a question. Okay, now for this one, I'm going to do a drop down. And so option one. So there's going to be an, uh, a drop down here with those options. And I'm going to make that required. And now after this, I want them to be able to submit this form. So I'm going to click on add a section. And after section one, I want them to submit form. So they're not going to go on to the second section. They're actually going, go, going to go on and submit the form at this point. Okay, so at this point, my uh, student assessment is done. And I'm going to click on settings again. Now, I don't want to collect email addresses, but I could if I wanted to. Um, I could limit this to one response each, but that does mean that they have to be signed into their Google account, so I don't want to do that. I want to show the progress bar, and I want a confirmation message. Okay, and I'm going to click on Save. Now, there's a couple of little other things that we can do up here. We can set the color of this or change the color of this. We can also add our own image so that we can make it branded. I can go ahead and preview the form by clicking on that little eye. And this is what it's going to look like to the student. So, yes. I can go ahead and watch that video now. And I'm going to choose that and click on Submit. And that's what it's going to look like from the student perspective. So before I drop it into my course, what I want to do is I want to set up the responses. So I'm going to click on Responses. And I'm going to click over here on the three dots. And if I want to get email notifications for new responses, I can just click on that. In this case, I don't. I can select a response destination. So let's click on that. And I want to create a new spreadsheet that's going to be called Student Assessment Responses Create. Now, if I go back to my test folder here and refresh my page, it should show the Student Assessment Responses Spreadsheet. And there it is right now. So I can have all my data collecting on a Google Sheet in the background while students are completing the assessment. Now you can also go in here if you'd like and uh, download the responses or print the responses or delete the responses. When you look at the responses, you can actually sort by a summary based on everyone who's completed this form or specific individuals. Okay, so this looks good to me. So we are going to drop this now into our course. So I'm going to click on send. And as you can see, you can send by uh, individual email. You can grab the link or you can embed the HTML. In this case, I'm going to grab the link, and you can also shorten it if you want to. So let's take that one. We'll shorten this link, and I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to go over to my Thinkific site. Okay, so here I am on my course about Google Apps, and uh, I've got the chapter name as Google Forms, and so I'm going to add content now, and the content I'm going to add is Multimedia. So what I'm going to put in here is the title of the form, Student Assessment, and that URL that I just copied and pasted, I'm going to drop it in here, and I'm going to click on Save Changes. Now I'm going to preview my course as a student, and right within the course itself here, they are able to complete the student assessment. They can watch the video, and they click Submit. And there we go. It says, thank you for completing the student assessment. So there we go. The student can complete any kind of form or survey or quiz or poll that you have created using Google Forms and dropped into your course using the multimedia content type. And it's as easy as that. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe.